Hi everybody, so we're going to do a little tutorial on how to sow our chilli seeds, these, in our coconut coir pellets. But first we're going to make a propagator. A propagator is something that we use to create warmth and moisture and that our plants can start germinating nice and quickly. You can buy one, but we're going to use things that we found around the house. You can use an old takeaway dish with some kind of, uh, I think these held tomatoes, you can use that as a lid. You'll see that there's uh, holes on the top here, which is really good for, for making sure that there's a little bit of airflow and things don't go mouldy. We're going to use a bottle. We drink a lot of sparkling water around this house, so we're going to use one of these. You'll see that I've cut mine up already. You want to cut it in half, yeah? We're going to use the bottom as the place to put our pellets. One. You'll see that there's a hole at the top. Yeah, so we're going to put them in like that. One, two, three. Make sure it's the right way up. Okay. At this point, we're not going to be using the lid. But what you'll see I have done is that I've cut some splits so that when we're ready, we can actually put this on the top. But first, let's uh, rehydrate these pellets. That means we've got to add water to them and we do it before we sow the seeds. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water in the bottom. I'm gonna wait a few seconds and they're going to soak up all of the water. They're gonna double in size. Can you see that's happening really quickly, isn't it? Okay, so I can think about putting some seeds in now. You should have three packets of chili seeds, yeah? We're going to put two seeds in one pellet, okay? We're gonna do this because not all seeds grow. Some might not. And we're gonna pick the strongest seedling once they have grown. So we're going to take them out of the packet. It's a bit difficult. So for my fumbly fingers, I'm just going to cut the top off. Here's the chili seeds. One, two. Okay. So I'm going to take the biggest one here, the biggest pellet, the one that's been soaked up quickest. Put this to one side. You see, I'm going to put these pellets, uh, these are seeds, in the top of the pellet, yeah? I'm gonna do a little, just make sure they're underneath there, yeah? And the idea is, as the pellet continues to soak up water, it's going to cover the seeds, yeah? Now we need to label our seedlings so we know which variety we've got. I've cut up an old milk carton because these are perfect, yeah? So you can cut them up into slithers, like I've done here. And this is the KN Chili. Okay, so I've written that on. And I'm gonna put that on the side here where I know that my KN Chili Pepper is. I'll put my other tags here and here so I know which ones link in. Okay. Now it's time to put on the roof of our greenhouse. Now, at this point, I'm gonna leave the, uh, the lid on just because I want some moisture. Let's put another slice in here. Ooh. There you go. Now our lid is on. So this is gonna stay somewhere warm, 25 degrees. That might be a windowsill by a radiator, but we're gonna put ours in a boiler cupboard. Okay. If you're growing yours on the windowsill, and you will have to once the seedlings have germinated, we're going to use something to make sure they all get an even light. Otherwise, they get really stretchy and they try to lean towards and they grow really weird. So to stop that, I've used an old calendar that I've lined with foil paper. I'm going to put this behind so that the light bounces from the window 
all around the plants evenly and they all get a nice amount of light, okay? Within about seven to 10 days, or seven to 14 days, you should find little green seedlings coming up. Once they've grown about this big, it's my hand there, about the length of my thumb, they should have a few true leaves. These are pointed leaves on. You've seen that we've planted two seeds today, and if you're very lucky, two seedlings will come up. We don't want both of them. So we're gonna pick the biggest and the strongest and with little scissors, we're gonna cut away the weakest, smallest one so that the biggest, strongest one can grow. Then we're gonna do another video and show you how we can pop those up into the pots that you were given uh, with the compost that you've been given. Okay, any questions? Contact Layla, contact me and uh, have fun growing chilies. Thanks everybody.